Used to be a member of the TM bands. Nice to see him here with us. Also want to send us out to my oh, dad. Yeah, yeah, that's Paul great. Nice. Yeah, you. Friend you. from uh, yeah, right. from the office there. Alpoca Fireworks Virgin here with us. Proud, proud of my heritage. No matter. And I, and I wear every place I go. How come the Eagles all sit? Because it's just to, so that they put the size of it up there. If they try to put it straight on. It just kind of it, 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 it's a little more straight.
the Scotty Clowns, Paul Dunn. Just look out for all the guys. The Maestro's men getting ready to go on stage in about 15 minutes. That's some camera before I go out in the glass. We're going to send this one out to Darlene and John. Darlene has been voted Miss Pennsylvania, Miss Polka Pennsylvania, 2007. She's been with us. So hopefully, maybe later we can have her come up, say a few words to the crowd. We played a job uh, out in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania earlier this year. She's crowned uh, the Polka Princess for 2007. We're really nice colors. We're sitting out to the last couple of And I'm so That's about it. All right, we're going to keep Chris on the boat for right now. One called the Nostrovia. Okay, go. Also, Stephen and Dale Litwin. Also, our mom, Rosemary Bogdan, here with us. And our dad, Jim Bogdan, as well.
going to have to request to slow it down to an Omega, man. We're going to put Alan Volk on the vocal right now. One called the old lady in the stud of Bubba. A little better. Send this one out, especially for the Wilkes family here with us. All the Wilkes family. It's not a seven springs, it must be seen. Does it make money? Yeah. 
sitting by the window. Also, we're going to send this out to Marty and his, and his wife, Carol. Marty Oshansky, it's a pleasure to see you again. And uh, we're looking forward to that uh, summer picnic jam session you had for us last year. Uh, we're going to send this one out to him. One with Gary on the vocal, one called The Never Ending Love. Polka. I'll send this to Mark Sims. Nice to see you.
is here this afternoon. And a lot of music in store in this room, the other room, uh, a lot of great bands here. So, and if you have any special requests or dedications, come on up to the bandstand. We'll be happy to do them for you. All right, I'd like to feature Jackie right now. Due from our CD called the Red Hat Polka. Bardini, Red Hat Polka. Yeah. That's what he said. That's right. That's an Italian polka. You have a Red Hat
Well done. I'm going to send this one out to Mike Hankus. Mike Hankus and his new star family. They start at five. Penny and, and also everybody that went on the Bermuda Cruise with us. Wow. Was, uh, with Little John, the ATM band, and my tune and carousels. We went uh, last month to Bermuda and uh, had a great time. I want to thank them and thank everybody that went on that cruise with us. All right, here we go. Alan on the vocal. One called All the Girls. Don't forget, at uh, 3.45, we do have uh, Dennis Posty and the Maestro's event coming up. And uh, we'll be alternating with them all the way to 7.40 of this evening.
couldn't see him. Also after this, we're going to bring up the fine sounds of Dennis Poliski and the Maestro's band here with us. Here you would call the sea of heartbreak, broken. Send us a while to Henny and Ted up here.
receives a certificate of participation suitable for framing. In addition, uh, Volta Fireworks, via the Blazonczyk family, have provided trophies for first, second, and third places in each of the categories. And the Seven Springs Resort has also provided us with some uh, prizes. Thank you. Okay, thank you. How about a nice round of applause for our senior division. If you don't notice it, we have more seniors than anyone, so there is never too late. So you, I'll see you in the dance class tomorrow, right? Okay, we're going to bring out the masters, and I'll tell you a little bit more about the uh, prizes that are being provided for the 7 by 7 Springs Resort after we take our next little break. But right now, we'd like to bring out couple number 90. Is that right? No, 50, I'm sorry. My glasses are usually on my head. At this moment, they're in my room. We have John and Darlene from Pennsylvania. Whoa! Hometown people, hometown people. And now, if you, it are Jody and Sandra. Uh, It's Jody and Sandra. They're from Parma, Ohio. Couple number 51. And couple number two, 52, is Casey Karbowski and Ellen Snyder from Parma, Ohio and Oldman, Maryland. And they just partnered up at this festival. I think we're ready, Jeff, for more music.
and the senior divisions, there are going to be complimentary breakfast for uh, brunch for two for Sunday, and it's good to all the way until next year. So if they're here for the fall festival, they can use it, and if they're here for next year's summer festival, they still will be good. We also have Alpine slide tickets. We have stadium blankets. We have. Um, Oh, we have some lanyards. We have all kinds of wonderful things that Seth Springs Resort has donated for the contestants who are dancing so well today. Well, now we're ready for the open division. I found out if I move away a little bit here, I can see that. In this open division, we have couple number 38, Michael Reel and Sarah. Yeah, 
We'd like to tell the audience a little bit about it. Now, some of you um, asked for and received an idea about how the judging goes for the contest. First of all, we have four different age categories. There are the seniors, where the lady is over 55, but we don't card her. She still, we trust her. We have the master's division, where the dancers are 35 to 55. We have the open division, and that's for anybody that wants to enter, or for those who fall in the age bracket of 18 to 35. And then we have the juniors, and they are um, both 16 and under. So that's the four categories. They're dancing against peers in their own age groups. You have, if you have those little sheets in front of you, you'll find that we have judges that cover one per category. So each judge has one category, and the first and most important one is timing. So when that judge is looking at that couple, or the couples, then he will, or she, will be looking and judging them on their ability to not only keep time, but perhaps to go a little step further and do something that's out of time, showing that that couple really has control of what they do on the dance floor. Next in importance is execution and form. How well do they do the steps? Are they able to do it with a smile, or do they look like somebody's got a gun in their back? We have continuity. Can you tell that the gentleman is trying to figure out what he wants her to do next? Is he kind of stopping for a measure or two, trying to figure it out? Do they flow from closed position to open position to a wrap? Appearance has to do in showmanship. This is for them to see, what, for you to enjoy. Are they fun to watch? Are they stiff? Are they scared to death? Because they can be, you know. Next we have variety. And there the judge is looking for different steps. Not just simply circling around the dance floor, going forward and backward, but giving us some spins and turns that make it fun for us to watch them. And originality. You know, we only have two arms and two legs, so when we put two people together, there's a limit to what we can do. But people can use their own ability to come up with original movements, and that's fun, and they do get extra credit for that. Posture and costume. Now, in this particular instance, we like to be sure that you, as the audience, as well as the dancers themselves, understand that you can never win or lose a contest by what you wear. As an audience, we're very appreciative when the, the dancers are out there and they put on the show and they add something sparkly, maybe, something colorful, something matching. It tells them that they, they have a, they've gone a step farther. But as far as the contest is concerned, that person, whether they're swamped from head to toe in sequence, or whether they're simply doing this, only have a difference point spread of two points. So we do this to acknowledge the efforts that the dancers make, but we also realize that this is a test of a, a couple's dancing ability. We do not permit exhibition dancing. Someone asked me what that was. Exhibition is when you throw the girl up and see how many times she bounces, and then the next guy goes and throws his girl up higher and see if she can bounce one more time. That is an exhibition. This is a dance contest, and we have some very skilled dancers today, and we respect their skill level as it is. We encourage them to get better, and we're sure that you're going to like it. First of all, I'm going to bring out the uh, judges because they need to take a seat, and we're going to start with the senior division. The judges, I can't see them, so I don't know where they are. Oh, okay. Okay. You ready to come out? Phil the eighth, Phil Nace. He's from Indiana, Michigan, uh, state champion, along with his wife, Yvonne, several times, I might add. All of, all of our judges have gone through the ranks of competition, have earned top honors, and have been training for, I must say, really quiet, 20 years. Then we have Rick Eisenman. He comes to us from Michigan. Pam Malazuski dress from Illinois. Illinois, and Dan Kay from Brown Lake, Illinois. Okay, now we're going to bring out the dancers who are going to make the poor judges work so hard. The first group of dancers are our seniors, and the first couple to take the floor will be Steve Ondek and Geneva 
Benza, couple number 61. Bring them out for a round of applause. Couple number 62, Michael and Marlene. They come from Pennsylvania. And Couple number 63, Robert and W.J. from Wheeling, West Virginia. Yes. Couple number 64, Joe Yedowitz and Mary Ristow from Yonkers, New York, and Pine Bush. Wow, we've got Ohio, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, New York, and Rhode Island. That's awesome. Music. We have one more. 65. Ray and Peggy Guy. They're from Rhode Island. I said where you're from, but I didn't bring you up. I didn't bring you up. I think it's time for music maestro. Very little. Yeah, 
in second place, only one point higher, with 84 points. From the great state of Pennsylvania, a couple number 62, Michael Mayer and Marlene Morley. Make sure I got these numbers right. I have my glasses on, so I'm in better shape here. Also, from the great state of Pennsylvania, couple number 61, Steve Adnick and Janina Benza. They put on one heck of a show for us here today. And any of you people that were eh, thinking about maybe going to the contest but decided against it, it's like, you saw what they can do. So it's like, I think everyone's got a few years ahead of them. So let's get out there next year. Let's fill all the categories. Yeah, we'll see if it's thin enough. Oh, you got a good crop. Masters division. You got a good crop up there. In third place in the Masters division with 85 points. This is right opposite. At least one of us in the state of Ohio. We have couple number 51, Jody Manny and Sandra Sadowski. Oh, wow. Oh, what? Jody. What? No, this is just No, this is just an absolute The hometown of Now in second place, with 92 points. This is a mixed partnership from the state of Ohio and Maryland, couple number 52, Casey Karowski and Ellen Snyder. Let's play a round of applause.
They were trying to figure out how to break that trophy in half. We'll take care of it, don't worry. And now, in first place, with 99 points, from the states of Maryland and New York, getting together to practice must be rough. We have couple number 38, Michael Real and Sarah Bennett. I apologize now for the pronunciation of that name. Banowitz. I think I'm missing some letters here. And he was your bad. And now, moving on to the junior division. We move them to last because all that energy you have left in there, I want to hear it for these kids because it takes a lot of guts to get out here. You know, I was trying to twist a few other arms to get some other kids out here and stuff like that. And it's great to see the kids we have out here, actually, in the junior division and in the open division. we got some younger contestants. That's great to see. We're going to grow on that because it's like every year, the first year we go somewhere, it's like we start on the small, so we keep growing. So we'd love to see a lot more people on this side of the floor than that side of the floor next year. Or not all of you. That would be kind of crowded over here, but a couple more over here. I think that drum roll means people want to hear these results. So moving on to the junior division. In second place, who even cares how many points? Couple number 37, Nathan Lugans and Jennifer Smith from the state of Wisconsin and New York. No, no, stay here. We need a picture. I think we need more than one picture. Oh, we're running to the floor with cameras. <laughs> and, and you guys have been dancing together for what, two, three years? Okay, a day. Well, you spent that whole day practicing, right? Or the other... An hour, huh? I, I got the impression that you really you preferred some maybe time in the arcade. Tell, you, tell your mom you get, an extra, you get an extra five bucks to spend in the arcade, okay? I think I just made his day. I think he dropped his trophy. And in first place, with 78 points, from Nebraska and Wisconsin, couple number 36, Jeremy Yurowski and Katrina And now, you can prepare for one more treat. One more treat. Because we're going to ask the contestants to go, all the winning contestants to go ahead and put their trophies down. And we're going to bring them out the, on the floor one last time for a victory dance. This is where you get to see them strap their stuff when the pressure's off. So that shows even greater. But one more time, though, before I go a step further, they did a great job. They did a great job with those drum rolls. One more great big round of applause for the Dynamarks. That was probably the hardest thing for the, for the crowd because, you know, to, to, to restrain yourselves when you hear that music to not get up on the dance floor. But you know what? The other thing is, if you sign up for the contest next year, what better opportunity to get out on the dance floor, dance to a band like, band like the Dynabrass, with all that room to dance? It's worth signing up just for that. Forget the prizes. Okay, you won't want to forget the prizes. And before we go one step further, how about a great round of applause for yourselves? You've been a tremendous audience. They didn't quite agree with that. I don't think they've been a great audience, but I think you've been a great audience. Music Maestro, let's bring those contestants out one last time with a big round of applause for all our winning contestants.
while, but when you come, come on over here, we're going to get you together for a great big picture, okay? Yeah. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for all of the contestants, all the participants in this year's dance competition! And coming up in just a few short moments, the back of the sounds of Henny and the Versa James, some more fun headed your way all Oh, oh. 
after this polka. We're going to do one called the Green Maple Polka. Right now we're going to send this out to Mr. Dave Morris back there. Also Ted Lang. And we also like to send this next number out to my lovely wife, Jenny, who's celebrating her birthday on July the 4th. Happy birthday, Jenny. Also for Taylor. Get a word in edgewise up here, you know? Work it in, work it in. Force your way up there. <laughs> I'm gonna have this guy here to my right singing you a song coming up. How many of you guys know this guy? I know, it's North Pennsylvania Hills. And they'll still in there. Maybe later. Mr. Vinny Balls are early right now. We also want to let you know, anybody, we're going to send a song out to everybody here from Michigan. We're going to be up in Michigan in a couple weeks. In, uh, out in Boonton Lake, Michigan. Hope, 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 I got five minutes. Also, don't forget, we're going to be in Frankenmuth this summer as well. The second weekend of Frankenmuth. So, uh, for everybody that is from Michigan right now, we're going to do this one. Vinnie Balls are really on the vocal for you right now. One called the Green. Polka. Yeah, 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 yeah